we, we, we do want to end this session by talking about some, another uh, eth eth ethical situation that's quite important and uh, 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 and Xiaoping has a statement that she needs to read from. <laughs> 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 Just to wrap up, we will have you guys ask yeah, your own question. We need to settle this yeah, yeah. So, I mean, this, this involves like usage of photos and like uh, the Straits Times editorial policy. This is from Steph Stephanie Yao. Can you describe the picture? Huh? No, I'm not, I'm not there yet. So it's about... Ah, okay, this one. Okay, basically, the, the, the policy is that we rarely pixelate photos unless there's a valid need to. Yeah, the first priority actually is to preserve the subject's dignity, usually. So we won't show a dead man's face unless he's like Osama bin Laden or Saddam Hussein. So in these two examples, uh, which is, yeah, we did publish photos of them when they were killed. Oh, oh wait, this is uh, Osama bin Saddam. They, uh, when they killed only because they've been elusive for so long and the whole world needed to see what they were indeed did. Okay. So all the big newspapers actually ran those two pictures, Osama and, and Saddam. So in the case of the Manchester terror attack, we uh, took the decision not to mask anything because we don't see faces. Uh, the scene was of paramedics tending to injure, not the dead. Uh, the scene was not particularly gory, not bloody, and it was one of the few pics that showed a general scene of the injured. Mm -hmm. So if the entire photo is pixelated, then we should find basically an alternative picture. No mm -hmm. point using a photo that just show pixels. Um, it's always a battle deciding where the fine line is between the need and want to inform and preserving uh, keeping and preserving the dignity of the deceased. So tolerance levels for individuals vary where, where the shock value uh, is. Um, our guideline is the feeling we get when we first look at it. If it shocks us, then we probably won't use. Uh, because we are so used to seeing these types of photos, we are somewhat immune to it. Uh, so if in doubt, usually they consult each other, the, the photo editors and the... Yeah. Anyway, the usually ultimate decision of whether using it on the papers or not lies with the editor and night editor. Yeah. Um, we will never show faces in coffins or the face of a dead person lying on the road after an accident. So in these situations, we would mask out the face if there is no uh, alternative picture to use. That. So, so in this case, the, the newspaper on the right that choose to mask it, pixelate it, is actually the sun. Shocking not you. According to this British man, it's not in this paper, but... Okay. Ask a question. Now, now let's imagine we're not in Manchester. Let's imagine this like Orchard Road. Yeah, ask the question first. How many of you How many of you pixelated? How many of you? Yeah, so how many of you wouldn't pixelate the rest? Wouldn't pixelate? Okay. Now you answer this. Yeah. So imagine it's not Manchester. It's Orchard Road, and it's like it's right at our doorstep. Do you think Straits Times would have taken a different decision? Okay. Now. We think about physical proximity, psychological proximity, and um, news value. There are all these things to consider, it, right? It is so one of the think, guidelines. What do you think we, we will do, you know? Does it change your decision whether to pixelate or not? So if it's in Singapore, how many of you would pixelate? <laughs> so the rest of you still wouldn't? And the reason you would pixelate is because it's very likely you might know the person. So yeah, so if you were the editor, and it's your sister in the photo. How many people will pixelate? You all say no, uh, actually I think a lot of people will post. We've run through these scenarios before, there's a lot of things like, would you take the photo? Yes, I'll take the photo for the news. What if they actually don't take? I'll still take it because what if it's a family member? Suddenly everybody like, um, or somebody you know, or somebody you know, your family, an in-law, or your wife's husband, or something. <laughs> <laughs> in the public swimming pool. Okay, how many of you would take the photo? Okay, how many of you won't take the photo? We ask this not because... Yeah, you're not to judge, yeah. okay? Just because some people will not. I do it, but so then the rest of you don't know? 
Okay. Okay. Now, change the story. <laughs> Same swimming pool, fourth drowning in a week. Month, How many? Month, uh, it's a true story. So How many of you will take the photo? <laughs> How many will take the photo? Okay, the rest of you won't, right? Even though, yes. even though there is, I mean, I guess you see that because of the context of the story, because yeah. the greater good is to highlight that this yes. place is safe. So proximity is is really one of the considerations, like. Uh, Actually, the, the scale, like uh, if 10,000 people die, like if I drop my phone. Uh, okay, I think we really need to wrap up because uh, we, we want to leave some time for everybody to, to ask questions.